what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about i know what you did last summer three in this video here today so this is going to be an update to the small update i did yesterday in a separate video with a plethora of other updates this is strictly going to be about i know what you did last summer a follow-up to that update now i know i talked about a few things there i talked about how filming is supposed to start in august which was reported by cinemaholic I also talked about Freddie Prince Jr. going over his status with the project and how he hopes everything will work out. But the biggest bombshell that came was this mishap from Screen Rant in which it was noted in their article. They've since removed it and retracted this that Brandy, well, not not specifically anything about Brandy, but it said that I know what you did last summer, the upcoming film would be a direct continuation to the original, ignoring previous sequels. Now, Shout out to you, Andrew, because you took a screenshot of it before it was removed. Green. So what had happened was I said, you know what? Why don't I go fishing today? So I put out a tweet saying what was noted because that's what they had in their article. And I had a feeling something might happen because of the fact that, of course, it would gain traction and it might get the attention of certain people who are involved with the project. And lo and behold, it got the attention of Jen robinson herself who is going to be directing the upcoming film and also co-writing it i believe as well so she chimed in quote tweeting my tweet and said it is definitely not i still know what you did last summer is is canon hope this helps so she cleared that up with ease and my fishing was a success because i just thought to myself hey you know what maybe if i put this out there it'll get enough attention and somebody will denounce it or confirm it. And we got the denouncing that we all wanted. Because, of course, the minute I put the tweet out, it was backed up, of course, at the article in the time it was backed up by. They, again, have now since removed it. That started getting everyone, not everyone, but, of course, most people looking forward to Brandy's return all worked up. Because they're like, oh, no, Carla won't be back. Carla, Carla, Carla. Oh, fuck this movie. And, oh, well, if they're going to ignore that, I'm going to ignore this movie. And then now we have confirmation you don't have to worry about that everyone's blood pressure can come, can come back down we can all look forward to the movie now hopefully but i will say i am a little bit shocked that they are keeping it canon even though i have been someone who has been saying in my videos even though i think i still know as inferior there was nothing so bad about it that you need to ignore it completely we're not looking at a jc43 situation where we need to just ignore a certain movie we're not looking at a halloween resurrection or anything like that we're not looking at a halloween 5 it was just an inferior movie it was still a fun sequel but a lot of the aspects of it are inferior to that original brandy's inclusion in her performance as carla is one of the highlights of that inferior sequel but there was nothing overly inferior about the film overall that required it to be ignored. However, I'm shocked that they are not ignoring it because of the fact that there seems to be a heavy focus on what happened 30 years ago in Southport and how it's become a cautionary tale and stuff like that. That's just what shocks me. So it's a pleasant shock. I'm not against this inclusion. I'm just shocked pleasantly. But I was expecting them to ignore I still know along with I'll always know. I just didn't think it would be necessary for them to ignore for them to ignore I still know. Now I'll always know. Throw that in the dumpster, pee on it, do whatever you want to, kick it, kick it to the curb. Don't give a fuck. That movie is atrocious. It's one it's the worst one in the franchise. I'd rather watch the TV show. Now Brandy and Carla, of course, her return is still up in the air. With filming set to start next month in los angeles i believe we should be hearing about more hopefully returning stars we already know about the newcomers and all of them we found out about that not too not too long ago a few days ago at this point got a lovely report about all of those people uh i would expect in the next coming weeks we will learn that jennifer love hewitt is signed on we will learn that freddie prince jr is signed on we will learn that brandy is signed on hopefully even if brandy isn't signed on it's just nice to know that they are not going to ignore that sequel because a lot of people do love it but i also expect we will learn that sarah michelle geller is signed on and sarah michelle geller being signed on i know is going to be the thing that throws everybody for or th catches everybody off guard possibly because they're gonna be like oh well didn't she die you know you always have those people who are not gonna think outside the box yes she died but 
there's still room to bring the character back in some capacity. The most logical way, again, would be if you were to have some sort of a hallucination sequence or some type of visualization on screen of us seeing the inner workings of Julie or Ray's mind in which they imagine a life in which their two friends didn't die. And you get to bring both stars back, not just Sarah Michelle Gellar. You can bring both of them back. But I digress. We will just have to wait and see what all comes of this. Are you guys looking forward to the film now? I know a lot of you, again, were ready to throw this movie away because you thought that Brandy and all that what happened in that sequel was going to be ignored. But thankfully, the director came out and confirmed it. Like I said before, I was scheming with my tweet when when Andrew, when you sent me that, you and me both talked about it. I said, why don't I just put out a tweet and see what happens? Why don't I go fishing? And we caught something. The director has chimed in to let us know that the second film is still canon. So everybody can sleep well. Everybody can move on and possibly be looking forward to this. Uh, again, the rumored details seem to indicate that we're going to be on a group of characters that possibly are not related to the previous stars, which is fine. Because, you know, not every legacy sequel needs to be focused on the kids and stuff like that. They don't all need to be relatives. You don't need to do that. Uh, but it's possible that some of them are. It just does not seem like the characters I've heard about, Ava and Milo, they don't seem to be related to anyone that was involved in the incident with Ben Willis 30 years ago. It sounds like they're all a group of friends, possibly in college. Like I mentioned, there's an engagement party where their said engagement party is supposed to have the accident that occurs. Then the story will jump a year later. So we'll wait and see what comes of this. But it was nice to see Jen clear this up for us yesterday. Well, yeah, yesterday at this point, because today is a new day by the time I've uploaded this. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.